Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we're outside since it's a beautiful day. They said it's going to be in the 50s. Well, not 50s, but 50. And the sun is shining, so we're trying to get some outside work done. We've got um, a couple more poles that we need to put in place for our new pasture that we're building. Um, the guys did it a few days ago, but I didn't get video of that. But they, they drilled like 12 holes, I think. And then we just have two two more holes to do because they got rained out on so they couldn't finish. So Kevin and I are going to work on that. Then I have a project um, I want to work on with the chickens. So I'll bring you along for that too. I'm, I'm wanting to make a chicken feeder. So I bought some stuff to make that and um, I'll put it together and show you guys how it works. All right, Kevin's waiting for me. I better go outside. Might be windy, so you can't hear me. You waiting for me? Okay. Okay, so we're finished. Uh, two holes didn't take very long, but I'm exhausted because, let me show you. In order to put the posts together, so there's two ends and then there's one crossing in the middle, and we have to use these nails to um, join them. <sighs> Anyways, Kevin had me pound the, them in and uh, I'm exhausted. I can tell that I haven't been working very much this winter, so spring is coming. Anyways, I'm going to try to get out of this muddy field because I don't want to get stuck. Alright, now I'm in the garage where I have a project that I'm going to start working on. And so the project is, well in my chicken coop I've used several different kinds of chicken feeders that they can eat out of and I've found over the years that they're very wasteful. Chickens just are very wasteful. And so I've been looking online and coming up with some type of an idea how to feed these chickens without wasting so much of their feed. And I had two ideas that I was gonna choose from and so this idea that I'm gonna make today is the cheaper of the two. Actually, I had three ideas, but anyways. So what I did was I went to the store and I bought this PVC. This is a PVC pipe. Well, it's it's like sewer pipe. It's it's not like a Schedule 40. It's um, a thinner um, schedule. It might be like a Schedule 30 or something. And then um, I also purchased, and this is 10, 10 foot long, okay? Because I'm going to make three feeders so I also bought this which is a 90 degree um, angle and I bought a 45 degree angle and so I'm going to put these two together and I'm going to cut a piece of this that's going to be about three foot long because that way I can make three of them and these um, I'm going to I'm going to put them together so they're like this and then this actually How's this gonna work? This way? Well, anyways, they're gonna go like this, and then this will get um, put onto the, it'll be put onto the piece here, and then they'll be able to stick their head in this without taking their feet to scratch at it. So that's the whole thing is, a lot of the times when you have a feeder, they'll, they'll wanna scratch at it because that's what chickens do. They scratch until they find their perfect piece of food and then they'll eat it but I'm hoping that they won't scratch scratch 
out of the out of this okay so i'm gonna set up my camera so you can watch me build this and then we'll head to the chicken coop where i will um attach it to the wall somehow oh i know i'm gonna attach it to the wall using this my husband calls it plumber's strap but it's just called metal hanger strap so it's just a roll of it's just a roll of this strap stuff that I'm gonna put around the pipe put around the pipe and fasten it to the wall of the chicken coop now I don't I didn't buy any top caps because um, it's gonna be indoors but if it was gonna be outdoors you would definitely want to buy a top cap so it wouldn't get moisture inside and I have a feeling that these pipes here are going to um, be tight enough where I won't have to glue anything. Um, if it ends up falling apart because of the weight of the feed, then I'll have to glue it, but I don't, I really don't think it's going to. Okay, so my plan is, well, this is the workbench that I'm working on, and it's a mess right now, but my plan is to use this saw to cut it, but I'm not sure if it's gonna crack. So I'm gonna have to do a test cut first. Otherwise I'm gonna have to probably use like the, a saw saw or a skill saw or something. And I have no idea what this is. All kinds of stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the pipe about three foot long I figure three foot is big enough I don't know how long how much feed will will be able to store in here or how often I'll have to fill it but I guess this is trial and error so it's kind of my own design okay I'm at three foot and I'm just going to try to go slow. I don't have my glasses. I should probably wear glasses, but I will. I don't have them with me. Sorry. All right, I'll watch my eyes. And um, that worked really nice. So the uh, there wasn't a lot coming out, so I'm not too worried about my eyes. But if you're gonna work with tools, safety first, okay? All right. over four foot so yeah I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it like this I'll have two three foot and then one four foot that'll be fine all right so now what I have to do is take my 90s and put the 45s with the 90s line them up so that Press it down. I think it should go in further. I don't think it's going anywhere. All right, so then um, let's see. I'm gonna do this way. Let's see. Is it this way? And then I'll look like this. And the chickens will pick pick the feet out of there. So I'm gonna press this down in here. There we go. 
one is done. I don't think it's going anywhere either. Okay, so this is what they're looking like, and I'm gonna get the other two done, and then we'll head to the chicken coop. Okay, so I put them all together, and this is what all three of them look like. And I'm ready to go to the chicken coop. Okay, so I'm in the chicken coop with the three feeders that I've made. And I'm pretty secure that the bottoms are not going to come off um, once they get filled with grain. But I'm hoping that anyways. If they end up falling off, then I'll just have to scoop the grain up. Um, start over. Probably have to um, glue it then. So first of all, I'm going to figure out where I want to put this on this wall. Um, I have a pretty, I have a fairly large wall here. It's probably um, six, eight, it's probably eight foot actually. Eight foot long and I would decide, I think I want to keep them together as three together and not just have one, one, one. Um, but I don't know. But what I do know is I want it, I want them elevated off of the ground. So I don't want this part sitting on the ground. I think that they need to be up. And that will help hinder them from putting their, their feet up and trying to kick it out. So, um, the only question is how far off the ground do I place it? Do I place it 8 inches, 10 inches? And of course, I saw a picture of this, okay? I didn't read any directions. I just saw a picture. I'm, I think I'm going to place the bigger one right here. I have a stud right behind it. Which I'm actually going to move it over to the side so that I know that this stud will hit at least one of the straps. All right, and then I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it probably closer to 10 inches off the ground. Because my chickens are pretty tall. I think I'm gonna put it right here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. The next thing I have to do is cut a piece of this plumber's strap which you just measure measure how how big it is give yourself measure how big it is and give yourself plenty to work with so i thought this was a good pair of snips obviously not Urgh, maybe you need something different so now I, I have my strap cut to length. The next thing is, how in the world am I going to do this with two hands? Um, I'm going to have to get a screw started in, in just one side and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to start one screw and then I'll be able to slide this up. To start the other screw. Does that make sense? Okay. And the other screw ready. And then I got a measure. What did I say? 10 inches? Of course, the first one's always going to be the hardest. That's pretty sturdy. I'm going to put one more strap up higher just to secure it. But wow, that looks pretty good. There we go. And uh, yeah, these aren't coming off yet, so that's awesome. Looks good. You're going to hold it? I got it. You yeah. just do the screwing. I'm going to go down lower. What do, you, what do you want? Down here? Yeah. I put that one right there. I know, it's a little higher now, like, but... It's too high? Don't worry about it. It's not going anywhere. It's a little higher than I would like. Oh, okay. I got helper now. And he's telling me what to do. <laughs> right? I don't tell anybody what to do. It's oh. a suggestion. Oh, a suggestion. Yes. 
If you did everything I did, then that would be surgery. Oh. So just start a screw and then start the other side. Hey, boss. Trying to make it easy for you. Yep. Sure. I got these about a foot and a half. So about right there. And up a little. Up, 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 up. Right there. That should be good. So there's the three feeders. One's just taller than the others, but yeah. Now we're going to fill them with grain. All right, so I can already see one small issue that I I had when I was filling these. Um, so while I was pouring it in, it wanted to shoot right back out. So what I ended up having to do was put my foot over it and cover this for the first time um, for the while well, it was still empty anyways. After I had put in some in it, then it was fine. I didn't have to keep covering it. But the, when it's empty, it definitely needed to be covered for a little bit. And then, um, so I did that with all of these and um, ended up getting about, for the three of these, which is about 10 foot of pipe, I can fit a, almost uh, two thirds three quarters of a 50 pound bag of chicken feed in here. So that will feed my chickens for several days. Of course, I'm going to check it every day to see how much they're eating. But I really think that this is going to be a huge savings on feed.